This is Adjuster TV, Adjuster's first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. What is a file reviewer and how do you become one? So a file reviewer is a gatekeeper between you and the insurance company, right? So you, as the, as the independent adjuster, you work for the independent adjusting firm, right? The independent adjusting firm works for the carrier, okay? So when you go through your carrier certification and they teach you all the rules, the way they want you to do their claims, um, they give you the resources, the estimating guidelines, the depreciation guide, whatever it is, right? They tell you how they want all this stuff done, then it's up to you to go out in the field and handle claims according to those rules. Um, but the IA firm has an interest in making sure that when you turn your file in that you have adhered to the estimating guidelines and that you are um, have all the documents in the file that need to be there, you've taken all the appropriate photos, the file's clear, um, there aren't silly mistakes and typos and things like that, and like I said, stuff missing out of the file, they don't want you they want to be able to just double check your work for those things before they send your file to the carrier. And once the invoice gets sent to the carrier as part of the file, that you you know you, you fill out the invoice, um, you're going to split it with the IA firm. They're going to double check all that stuff, and then once they're like, okay, everything looks good, then they'll send it off to the to the insurance company for further processing of the claim, and they take it from there, and then they'll pay the IA firm based on that invoice, and then the IA firm will split it up with you and pay you your part, and then you do it again, right? So that's that's basically how a file review works, right? So that file reviewer is the person who, who double checks all those things, and if you don't have something in there, maybe you have the wrong price, you have the old price list from last month and it just turned over into September or whatever it is, and you have a August price list in there, they need to send, they're gonna send that back to you and they're gonna say, hey, listen, you need to update the price list. Um, if it makes a change in the file and you were responsible for, for having conversations with the homeowner and settling up with the homeowner and everything, you may have to call them back and say, hey, listen, uh, we're using the wrong price list on that for last month. It actually went up a little bit. So the, the new grand total is $23,000.14, right? So on and so forth, right? So, so file review is gonna be the person sitting at their computer, um, most likely remote, but, but depending on, you know, just depending on the situation, it may be something where there's a, there's a big room full of them uh, in Mobile, Alabama, or Fort Worth, or Atlanta, or Tampa, or wherever, right, um, where they're sitting in cubicles next to each other. That person um, will have, likely have between 10 and maybe 60 files to review every single day. And they have to review every file two times, right? So this is the way it works. You turn a file in, file review looks at it, and they say it has three errors, right? And they're gonna shoot a little email back to you and say, hey, listen, and they're gonna reject the file in exact analysis. And they're gonna send it back to you and say, hey, you need to fix these three things um, and you know, fix all those things and then re-upload all the documents, right? So you've gotta jump back in there and fix it and then send it back up. When you send it back up, they have to double check that you did everything because believe me, I don't know why, but not everybody will do everything. Like they send, I'll send, it's a file review, I've done a file review, I'll send back a file, three corrections, the adjuster does the first one and then just sends it right back up. And then there's two more errors that weren't there originally. I don't know why, why that is, right? So, but I, so I have to review every file twice or multiple times if that's the case where they refuse to do the corrections that I'm asking for, right? So think about if you have 40 claims as a file reviewer, you're basically doing 80 file reviews in a day, right? The file review person doesn't have a lot of time to like have like super sweet bedside manner with you and to teach you how to do anything. They're just there to say, you're missing these things, please fix it and send it and then send it back up to me within 24 hours, right? So that work can stack. It's absolutely critical that you um, turn in a, a crystal clear file. It's super easy for the file reviewer to read. It doesn't have a bunch of extra photos in it that nobody's gonna look at, because, but you put it in there because, well, I wanted to give them something extra. You're wasting everybody's time if you do that, right? Crystal clear, tell the story of the file. If you get a file sent back, which you will, always, everybody does, make the corrections and send it back up. To become a file reviewer, it's sometimes one of those things where if you have experience as an adjuster, they'll say, um, you know, here's an opportunity. Maybe you, maybe you fell off a roof and got injured, but and they want to keep you working somehow. So they give, so they say, well, we, you can do file review remotely, 
or a huge hurricane's rolling up and they just need people to, to check that you've got all the things in there, right? Then they're gonna have a list of things, basically a checklist to make sure that you've got all this stuff in your file. Um, so it's one of those kind of like opportunity dependent sort of things that you may not necessarily be able to get right out of the gate, but that will present itself once you've once you've done claims as an adjuster and you've sort of established yourself and built a reputation. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.